Steve here from Showworms Online and today we're in Shefford in Devon and we're here at this Bovis Homes development self-titled called Shefford. It's a consortium development of different developers but Bovis Homes have got this section of it and they're building a fantastic range of three and four and five and six bedroom houses. The house type we've got behind us, this show home is called The Kiln. Now you can see it's finished in a very nice kind of cream colour, very nice. The architecture is outstanding. Just, just take a minute to take it in. The railings, those beautiful sash windows. What a absolute treat. Let's go and take a look around. Hello, Emma. Hello. Welcome to the kiln, a six bed end terrace yes. by Bovis Homes at Sherford in Devon. Yes. Sherford Village. What a beautiful place what to come and live. What beautiful it houses as well. It is the most well. beautiful place. Sherford. It's, and it's, it's just stunning. not it's not even a quarter built yet. Yeah. So there's so much choice in house types, etc. I think altogether there's gonna be about five hundred uh, five five and a half thousand new homes yeah. on this development. So it's gonna be quite epic. Well this is just one of them, the Bovis Kill. Yeah. So you can see straight away as so we come into the hallway there, yes. behind you look above you, you've got that lovely That's beautiful, isn't Yeah, it? and you can see how high the ceilings are as well. What a treat. Wow, yes. where are we going then? And we've got one of the hottest days of the year today yeah. as well. We are second week in to all this beautiful weather. Yes. So it's really cooking. Right, so, ground floor then. Shall we start in the lounge, Lovely. I think? Sitting room. So, this is quite nice, isn't it? Let me have a look. Some dimension, sitting room. 6 metres 37 by 3 metres 51. That's big and it's just sitting onto the corner there so you've got four windows four in here. Four beautiful windows here, yes, on this particular house. Gorgeous, isn't it? I mean the interior design in these houses is just gorgeous. You could just so see yourself beautiful. sitting in here. It does look just so... There's no even a word. just impressive. They yeah. really are. This this main street that runs through Sheffield is the ceiling heights. Yeah, you can so, yeah, you can see really like you say you can see a lot of the street there. This is like I say we're on the main strip through. And they've all got really fantastic names. There's a street just over there called Hercules. Yeah. Pegasus Indus Place. This is Pegasus Place. I love yeah. the names. Okay. So that's the sitting room. They've got two lovely large sofas and a couple of chairs as well. And plenty of room for Yeah, for even that furniture, furniture around. So yeah. We're back into the hallway. We've got a space there under the stairs. I'm just going to take a look at that epic. Yeah, we'll look at just check later. that out. It's huge. Yeah. So there's a little space there under the stairs. Probably and squeeze a dog bed under there. You could get a doggy bed for a yeah. small doggy. Cupboard under the stairs. Got meet your meters and that are in there, aren't they? And we've got a 
another door here. Oh, that's your cylinder. Oh, there's that, your mega flow there, tucked away under the stairs. Well, that's actually a good little place for it. Is, it is, it's very it? accessible yeah. there, isn't it? But you've still got that additional bit of cupboard space, haven't you? So, under the stairs, you've got your downstairs cloakroom with a well, pedestal sink. This looks good. So, shall I open some cupboards? Yeah. Ah, ah, it's your utility as well. So, your washer dryer in a the cupboard there, cupboard space for your laundry bits and pieces, yeah. and again. The really tall ceilings in here. Yeah. It is. It's a grand it WC, is. isn't it? I mean, look at that. It's, say, it's grand enough to have a sh or almost like a light fitting well, like I'm, that. I'm almost six foot. How tall are these ceilings, would you say? In well, here? I'd say, I'd probably say at least 12 foot. And so another you. six foot yeah. above me and some. Yeah. But look at it here. Let's just get into the delve into this a little bit as well. You've got ideal standard sandwich you wear here. Um, You've got a shelf there for your bits yeah. and pieces. Very, very nice. Push flush. Yeah, really good. And RCD box here as well, right where you need it. Switches there for your washing machine. Pretty good space. Okay, so through into the dining kitchen. So the first thing you see is these beautiful French doors here two sets and then you've got two additional windows there which face the front but it's actually this property is on the side isn't yes it? yeah so they're on the front but they're also on the side and then the french doors that take you out into the garden can you see the chest set out there steve yes <laughs> very nice indeed The sash windows are just beautiful. Let's just come and have a look at a little bit of detail on these sash windows. You can see, look at the fittings, they're so nice. Got little locks on them as well. They are so nice. Well, this is your dining area. They've got six chairs around the table, but you've also got this breakfast bar here with a couple of stools underneath. What have we got in this cupboard? Oh, that's your holiday. I won't open it because of this beautiful coffee. Come on, here we go. Move it along. But there yeah. it is there. Okay. Well, on this side we've got some cupboards as well, so plenty of storage. That's a large cupboard, isn't it? It's just yeah. nice just having those two yeah. sets of French doors well, imagine there. Imagine if you're living here, you've got both sets of doors open, you can just walk out into yeah. the garden. Really lovely, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Let's take a look in here. So you've got your fridge and freezer at this end. They've got a white high gloss, but obviously the, the choice of kitchen is, is down to the individual. Speak to the sales negotiator. Lots of cover space. That's nice. A little calendar. I don't think I've ever seen such a small one. Right. Dishwasher integrated. More cupboard space. You've got the large drawers. Soft clothes. You've got a gas hob there with five burners. I do like the big burner in the middle for your hob or your, your stacking pans like that. Very, very nice. Lots of cupboard space. You've also got lots of switch. You've got all these switches there. Plenty of plug sockets as well. Yeah. Hot point appliances. Yeah. You've got your oven and your grill there on the end. Really nice. And again, those fantastic tall ceilings in here. High ceilings. So what I do love is this beautiful wallpaper, which I'll show you as I come up the stairs. It's almost, if you look at it, and you look at the architecture that's being shown in it. Yeah, this yeah. is where it all comes from, and these are all the, all the influence that makes well, these so beautiful. Looks like architect's drawings, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, just a little detail here, as you can see in the new all there. Look at that little modern little touch there. So, here we go. So we've got such a long landing here. Look at it. Lovely big window on the front there as well. So this is the first floor then. Right, I'm just looking at the plan. So we have two bedrooms and then a large bedroom. Right, so if we start in here then, this is bedroom two. 
but it's a good size double. Let me find some dimensions. Bedroom two. Three metres fifty five by three metres forty three. I will put all the details for this house in the description box down below. Yeah. So don't worry about keeping up with them. Beautiful, isn't it? We have a bathroom on this level. So here we go, the bathroom. You can see there we've got the um, the taps just in the middle of the middle section there, which is which is great, especially if you want to share a bath and the plug hole right in the middle. Um, we've got a shower as well there, which is running off the boiler, which is very good. Um, got a nice little shelf as well. Um, we've got a suspended toilet, push flush, ideal standard sink, sanctuary, and a really nice Again, white. Again, it's a suspended sink. Yes, isn't it? Uh, a white towel rail there. And also, it's an internal bathroom, so we don't have a window in there, but we have an extractor fan. So next, we've got bedroom one, master bedroom. Beautiful. Lovely large bed. Right, dimensions, bedroom one, four metres by three metres 36. Again, lovely big sash window there, mm. really nice. And it's got a gorgeous ensuite. Oh, it's a bit of a, it's a, it's a lot of nice and light this ensuite is because it's got quite a big window in here. But we've got the sink, we've got the suspended sink, toilet, push flush, um, also a shower there, which is run off the boiler as well. And also we've got a nice little sash window there in the bathroom, which has got frosted glass and also an added uh, ventilation um, system on that as well. So that's really a really good size WC, that is. En suite room. Beautiful bedroom, isn't it? Yes. And you've also got a built-in wardrobe there as well. Good size. So around to the front, we've got bedroom five there. And just have a little pause for a moment oh, to, okay. you can see that beautiful Bovis house across the road there. This is the mirror image of the house we're actually in at the moment. So you can yeah. see it there. Um, I mean, that house is occupied, but you can see. How beautiful it is. And the frontage is the same as this yeah. house that we're in, yeah, isn't it? In Pegasus it. Place, beautiful. Yeah, so this is bedroom five. So they dress this as a single room, but I would say you could get a double bed in here easily. Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at the gorgeous little tea sack. And this, this bed can go in, in many different locations here, you know, under the window. Mm -hmm. You know, but these these this window th these windows are huge. So dimensions for this room, three meters sixty two by two meters eighty six. Yeah. Nice the low windows as well, aren't they? Very nice. Yeah, the window sills. Yeah. Very, very Just nice. Well, it maximises the light. Yes, it, it does, and this it is, it is very light in this room. Again, that wallpaper now continues up. A nice detail around the banister there as well. And they've got just about enough room up here on this landing to put a little chair, little mini sofa on it there, a little chair. That's a nice little spot, isn't it? Yeah. So, here at the rear then, we've got bedroom four. Okay. So another good size double bedroom. Uh, dimensions three meters fifty seven by three meters forty three. Sam's room. Yes. So he's got a standalone wardrobe there. It has. Yeah. For the stage here. Yeah. Nice of the record player, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it's a GP, look at that, a little GPO there, General Post Office. <laughs> Shall we go to the bedroom at the other end? Great size room. I mean, it's a good, good little um, image for you. So we've got the, uh, the two windows in both floors completely on view there. Such mm -hmm. a nice detail. It's very spacious. So this is bedroom six and they've dressed it as an additional lounge. 
or you could have it as a study. The view from here is stunning, actually. Uh, dimensions are three meters fifty-five by two meters eighty-six. Has many uses, doesn't it? Well, I still yeah. all the rooms. Once you're in it, you configure them. Anyway I do. I, I do like the brickwork look on the wallpaper. And then on this side we have bedroom three. Gent sharing two windows, the light in these rooms are just outstanding. Beautiful wallpaper. Yeah. And now let's just say, a lot of these properties do come with their own garage and parking space, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. And in some cases, some of them have a little shed as well. Yeah, you have allocated parking. Yeah. So this, this um, ensuite here, suspended toilet sink, push flush, and a shower there, which runs off the boiler, which is very, very good. And we've got a little window here, which is just open at the moment, so letting a bit of air in, much needed <laughs> on a hot day like today. but really fantastic house it is we've got another bathroom to see oh yeah it goes it's on the on house that on. keeps it's giving the house that keeps on giving yes right so another bathroom so again we've got the same sort of layout as we've got down on the on the bathroom on the previous floor um the middle set of taps the shower it's basically the same bathroom mirrored here really so you do get well catered for. You certainly do. Well, this house has two bathrooms, two en suites, and a cloakroom on the ground floor. You can't beat that, no, can you? That's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Well, another terrific Davis house well, there. Let me just tell you a little bit about this house then. So, it has a separate kitchen and dining room with French doors to the garden, which we saw, which were absolutely mm -hmm. lovely. Ceramic tiled flooring to bathrooms and en suites, all that's included integrated appliances and a garage and allocated parking super you can't it's such a but all this detail all the dimensions all the detail about uh, Sherford itself will be in the description box down below so check that out along with a link back to Bovis's own website so that you can contact them directly for current availability and prices because they're selling quickly aren't they, they they're are. so lovely and take a look at our bovis playlist on our youtube channel you can get to that by going to www.showrooms.online slash directory and click the bovis logo and you'll be able to see a lot of bovis house types that are being built all over the uk but we'll, we've got another show home to see and we'll catch you on our next video thanks for watching